Nightcap, 9-8. to eight. Look at the starting pitcher for UL. It's Alex Fusilet coming in for his first appearance in a raging Cajun uniform hailing from Turling's Catholic. Yeah, you can almost uh, – you got a, a, a true freshman starting on the mound. Uh, was the designated hitter yesterday in the starting lineup. And um, both of these teams have used quite a bunch of pitching. Anytime you think four games in a weekend – well, you're automatically going to be using a lot of pitching, but when you add the fact that you had a 15-inning affair on Friday and you had a 9-8 game last night that included a 60-something minute rain delay, both of these pitching staffs have been decimated. But the freshman gets the start tonight, or rather today, and um, he's a good one from the left side. And Coach Tony Robichaux says he'll probably throw quite a few freshmen out there today. All of them inexperienced, but this is the only way to change that. Get them in the ball game, especially here, getting some good experience against a Big 12 team such as Nebraska. First pitch brought to you by Service Chevrolet and American Revolution. It's in for a strike on the outside corner. Leading off for Nebraska, it's DJ Belfonte, junior from Kansas City, Missouri. This one fouled off to the left side. Belfonte, 250. For the season so far and the three games to start here this weekend at Teagmore Field. He's one of the five returning starters for this team. Belfonte a year ago was a 241 hitter for the Cornhuskers. Up top, kind of one and two. Tie for the team lead in a couple of categories. 15 doubles and three triples for Belfonte last season. He goes down looking to start the game. So first batter that Alex Fusilet faces as a raging Cajun is a strikeout victim. Yeah, good pitch right there. Uh, nice take a look at the Slemco replay. Belfonte is frozen as it's painted right there on the outer half of the plate. Lefty-left situation. And uh, Fusilet uh, gets off on the right foot to start his college career. That will bring up Ben Klein, the Cornhusker shortstop. Sophomore out of Omaha. Pitch on the way for Fusilet in there for a strike. Klein is another one of these guys that's a returning starter from a year ago. This one hit to third base. Kiefer comes up with it, throws it to first, and Scott Hawkins comes in with it. Two up, two down for the freshman Fusilet. Well, when you talk about Tony Robichaux pitching staffs, they're the type of pitchers that get ahead of hitters. They work fast. They throw a lot of strikes, and that's what Alex Fusilet is doing so far in the early going. He's getting ahead of hitters. He's throwing a lot of strikes and letting his defense play behind him. And that's half the battle for a freshman, I'd imagine. Get out to a good start. Get your nerves down a little bit, and hopefully smooth sailing from there. Yeah, and it's going to be important for the hitters to step up. I mean, this is a this is a team that uh, you got a freshman on the mound. It's it's uh, it's going to be important for the hitters to give the freshman a little bit of breathing room. Uh, it's his first start, and I'm sure the jitters are probably gone now that he's pounded the strike zone several times, but uh, but as this game moves along, the hitters will have to take over. The senior second baseman, Jeff Tezak at the plate, takes it for a strike, 0 and 2. That also helps when you have the home plate umpire giving a few inches off the outer edge, and as a lefty facing some right-handed hitters that hit in the gaps, that's, uh, that's also helpful. Pitch on the way to Tzak. In there for a strike. And the freshman, Alex Fusilet, with a great first inning. Two strikeouts. Nobody reaches base. We'll head to the bottom of the first inning. Raging Cajuns coming to bat. UL 0, Nebraska 0 here on my KLAF-TV.